Tonight, a local history teacher is suing one of his former students after multiple acts of racism against him. Only on 10, Michelle Wolf sits down with the Newport News educator as he describes what happened to him. In his 21 years as a history teacher at Menchville High School, Joe Mungo has never seen anything like it. Someone left a banana at my door. The banana was perfectly placed uh, in the doorway of my door in the hallway. Mungo shared images with us that were taken two weeks ago, but the first instance happened in October. It happened once a month, and the last occurrence happened last week. A banana always in the same spot in Mungo's classroom doorway. So it was clearly a deliberate act. After the sixth time, Mungo told 10 on your side, enough was enough. Mungo reported the problem to Menchville administration, who pulled up surveillance video and found the student responsible, a 10th grader in one of Mungo's classes. Gave the student a chance to come clean. I asked him, like, hey, did you do this? He said, no, he played dumb. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I said, okay, go down to, your, to the assistant principal. I'm the only black teacher he has. He has six other teachers. No other teachers were involved. Mungo says the student's parents were contacted. He was placed on a two-day suspension and removed from Mungo's class. Initially, supposed to be when the parents were contacted, the parents seemed to be truly embarrassed. And when the student was suspended and his parents were informed, then the parents were irate. Well, I was sickened. I was highly upset. So upset, I mean, I, I took the next day off. I didn't go to work that Friday. Now Mungo is in the process of pursuing legal action over the racist act. Because I'm just fed up with the racism around, especially in our um, academic institutions, you know, starting coming from the HBCUs and other colleges, the bomb threats, the nooses, the bananas, and now streaming into public education. It's time to take a stand and just let people know that it will not be tolerated. I know I'm not tolerating it. You have to speak up. You can't allow it to go on because then it will just continue to go on. Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side. A Newport News public school spokesperson says the district is investigating the report and has met with Mungo about that racial act.